Today I'm out and I've got the perfect tie just to fish traditional hard body barrel lures. Baycaster rods and reels, standard barrel lures. I'm going to show you all my tips and tricks. Let's get after it. Oh, nice big of that too. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 that's a good fish. Oh, that's a jack or something because that just smashed it. Jeez, it hammered the lure. I'm actually going to start the session off uh, fishing these mangrove edges because there's a, a bit of a rock bar just underneath me. So I, I can't get deep enough into the mangroves with the tide being up so high. So I know that there's rocks here. So we're every chance of a big barra, every chance of whatever this is too. There's cod, there's jacks, there's finger mark, there's all sorts of stuff here. So first cast so it's a good start oh it's a cod oh. you know you're fishing over rock when you catch these beasts let me get my lippers start throwing lures at barra soon but uh i don't know this rock bass producing plenty of fish but now the lures I've been using, two different types of lures. On this rock bar, which I've done really well on, I've been using the Jackal Squirrel Super Jackal 115 they're called. Most of the time I'll use a lure that's got a bit of white in it. Um, some lures I use are all white, but I do like a bit of contrast, like this one with the green lines, and the one I've been using is white with a black back. Really, really good colours. When the water gets a bit murky, you can see this one's got a pink eye, and that's a UV eye, and it glows when the water's a bit murky, and I find that's a really good lure as well. I'm just about to work these edges pretty hard. I've been working the edges a little bit, haven't had any luck yet, but as this sun drops, I'm about to get a few, and I'm going to use a real small shallow diving lure. This is the Zurich, the Zurich Barra Pro, but it's the smaller one. It's the 80 mil or 100 mil. Um, really, really good lure to use once the water's really shallow you've got to get on those very edges it's not too shallow i'm going to do another video so look out for it it'll probably be out a few days after this one on the zurich pyra because when the water gets shallower and in a couple of days we've got really small tides the pyra comes into its own so the barra pro when the water's not too shallow the pyra when it's super shallow so look out for that video with the pyra It's a 
grab your eight before we decide to eat that massive lure as well. So one thing I'm doing with my electric motor that's really important is I've got a, um, oh, that's a good fist, that's a barra. Probably got a barra on the rock bar. I was gonna say, I've got the electric motor just running on um, a speed of two, just to um, slow me down in this current. Otherwise, I'm gonna blow past these snags too quick and not be able to get a lure in there. And after all those cod, I think it might have been a jack. This is a nice barra. Jeez, this rock bar's producing some fish this afternoon. That's a real nice one. I'll let him go. At the end of the video, I'll take you through what makes a really good barramundi lure. But this jackal squirrel, I'm going to change now because I'm going to get into the mangroves. So I'm moving off this rock bar. It's produced a really good fish for me though, um, and this jackal squirrel's done the trick. This is 3.1 meters of water, and this guy I can twitch him in about two, two and a half meters. So it gets him right down near the bottom. You know you're down near the bottom when you're catching cod because they, they're not going to move too far off the bottom. But the mangrove jack, the finger mark, and the barramundi, they're quite happy to belt this even if it's only half that depth. But if you're fishing rock bars, you've got to get right down near the rocks and this jackal squirrel just done the trick today so let's change lures and let's change tactics and locations and get some barrel from these mangrove edges Retrieve is really important. You, you want to dance the lure. You can see here I've got some footage of the lure dancing through the water and small twitches is what it's all about because if I just throw in and I crank the lure straight back to the boat, the lure is going to leave that strike zone really quickly. But when I can just twitch it in the one spot for a little while and then bring it back to the boat, it just allows the fish to actually hone in on that lure. Come here, mate. <laughs> First one in about four hours, so about a couple of thousand casts and only got one. really late to come on the chew but it's been worth it because now we're smacking a couple now you saw there that the fish didn't really come onto the bite till after it got dark or when it started to get dark and I fished into the dark and got quite a few fish but 
the camera doesn't like the dark as you can as you can see but i want to talk to you in depth about the lures that i use for barramundi now barramundi lures are a particular breed and it's really important to know that you have got a couple of different situations and i use that on this particular video where i went to a rock bar and i had to get the lures down deep now the difference between a deep diving lure and a lure that works in shallow running water is the angle and the size of the bib. Now you can see the angle of this bib is almost level or parallel to the lure itself. And the bib is massive. But the angle on this lure is almost at a 90 degree angle and it's tiny. Now what that does is this lure is going to run really, really deep because the toe point and the toe point has a little bit to do with how deep it's going to run. The further back the toe point, the shallower it's going to run. If you could imagine, if you put a toe point here, it's going to pull the lure on this angle and bring it down as it swims through the water. So this guy's toe point is right at its nose because we don't want this lure to swim down very deep at all. Okay, so you've got your shallow lures and then you've got your deep lures. That's really important. The rock bars, I was fishing, I was using the jackal. Now the jackal squirrel is a fantastic lure to work on the rock bars. I'll turn it around so you can see it. Because it dives down to about three meters, if you do a long enough cast and run it down, you can pull the lure down to three meters, no problem. If you troll this lure, you probably get it down a lot deeper. Now the jackal squirrel comes in a couple of different sizes and that's really important too. These are two of my favorite colors. White basically with anything is really good. A bit of contrast, a bit of black on its back or even plain white's really good. Where this guy works really well when the water's a bit murky. Um, but Jackal Squirrel comes in different sizes. That's the 110. This is the 79. Exactly the same colours. But they're a smaller lure, so therefore they've got a smaller bib. This guy will run down to about 3 metres deep, no problem at all. This guy will be flat out getting down to 2. So it probably works at about 1.5 when you're casting and retrieving. If you're going to make a trial or make a really, really long cast, you're probably getting down a bit deeper. So the size of the, the lure dictates how big the bib can be so the bib is always going to dictate how, dictate how deep it's going to dive so with that said and done the shape of the bib as well is really important you notice with this this is a Zurich Barra X Pro that's the lure I used when I was fishing the edges it comes in a couple of different sizes this 100 mil is perfect for the weeper barrow because it's small enough to mimic the type of bait fish that they're hunting around on the mangrove edges all the time and this Zurich Barra uh, X Pro is a fantastic lure, so one you really need to put in your tackle box. There's heaps and heaps of different lures too. I love the Halco Laser Pros, uh, fantastic. They dive really shallow. That's the one meter Laser Pro. Um, that's the Zurich that I was using in the um, video itself. A bit beat up now. Probably got about 15 odd fish on it. The Reedy's B52 is a classic. This is an old one I've had in my tackle box for a long time. Caught me a heap of fish. Um, so. And this is a Storm, Storm um, Magnum um, Thunderstick, Magnum Thunderstick, I'm pretty sure they're called. I pick these up when they're in the bargain bin. You pick them up for about 10 or $15 instead of what you normally pay for a barrel lure. And it's really good. Now, one thing they're all got in common, if you have a look at all these lures, and these are probably the best selling Barramundi lures around, the bibs are all pretty much identical. So those small bibs, on these shallow running lures are the ones you use in the mangroves or really shallow rock bars and stuff like that. They'll run really shallow, they'll only dive down to about a meter and they'll twitch really, really well. Now, one thing I just wanna mention, you'll see these a lot. A lot of people love these lures. I particularly like them. I don't use them too often because they're a bit of a hybrid between the deep diver and the bibs that you'll get on these little barra shallow running lures. Look, these are, these are built in Northern Territory. They're designed for the Territory. You'll troll a lot up in the Northern Territory and you've got to get down into deeper water, faster running water, a lot different to Weeper. I do have a lot of these guys. Uh, they're, sorry, they're the Barra Classics, by the way. I probably should have mentioned that. I do have a lot of Barra Classics because I, you know, if the snag's a little bit deeper, I can still twitch it, I can still get it down. They float really quickly, which is good for snag fishing because if you get down into a mangrove and you hit the mangrove itself, you can pause it, float it above, and then pull it back out again. So floating lures really good. These things have got a massive rattle in them, as you can hear. So look, the size of the bib will really dictate how deep the lure is gonna run and how well you can twitch it. If it's a big wide bib like this guy, it doesn't twitch as well. 
but because of the angle that bib, bib is on, it'll it'll dive down fairly deep, but only to about two meters. Where something like this, this will dive down to about three or four meters, no problem at all. And I was talking about the Jackal 100 squir 110 squirrels, where they dive down to about two or three meters. So look, you've got a lot of options, but don't waste your money. If you're going for a shallow running lure, make sure you've got a tiny bib on it. And if you want to get down deep, make sure you pick a lure that gets down to the right depth.